Welcome! In this video I will show you how you can get started with the Bifrost wallet. So the Bifrost wallet is a multi-chain wallet, it supports currently the Songbird network and also in the future the Flare network as soon as it launches. It also has native support for XRP and we can now get started. So you can see you can get it for Android or iOS, so I will be doing it on Android. You just go to the Play Store, click on the link on your phone or look it up in the Play Store. So we'll just click on it and click on install there. And yeah, you just have to wait until it's being downloaded. Right, so then we go to open and now we're at the Bifrost wallet. So if you want to create a new wallet, obviously you can just click on create a new wallet. But if you have specified um, the airdrop address, so if you were eligible for the Songbird airdrop, meaning that if you had your XRP on your own non-custodial uh, account, then you can import the account you have specified in the message key. So most people uh, who claim the Flare airdrop are also, so all of the people who are eligible for the Flare airdrop are also eligible for the Songbird airdrop and you've specified a message key to a Ethereum address. And if you did that correctly, then you can just import the mnemonic of the account you've specified. So you can go to import and then type the seed phrase in there. So the 12 or 20 to 24 words uh, you had uh, for the account you have specified. If you did not, then you can just create a new wallet. So, so that's what I did. So my uh, XRP were on Coinbase and I'm depending on Coinbase for them to give me the songbird. So that's why I don't have to import. I can also create a new wallet there. So we, now we have to agree to the legal terms and we have to back our secret phrase now. Back up our secret phrase now. So you can see a new account has been generated. And in my case, I've gotten now the 12 words. So this is the so-called seed phrase. So never give that to anybody else. This is your master password. If you give it ever away to anybody, they can take all your funds away. So you copy that, you have to save that, store it somewhere secure. So on an encrypted file, maybe also physically, there are metal plates where you can engrave it and so on. So there are many ways you can store that. Uh, yeah, just keep it safe and you will need it if you ever want to import it again. That, oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna just screenshot that and cheat here. So I'm just gonna screenshot that here. And I'm gonna be using, yep, I just screenshotted it. Okay, great. So now now you have to uh, uh, um, write, t tell them again what the correct order is. So in this case, it's hunt before quality, oh, where is it there? Invite, so what else? Invite, uh, eager own define. Eager own define diesel and minor angle problem. Minor angle problem and guitar. Okay, right. So now after specifying, you can define a pin. So this pin code is just specific to the wallet. It's not bound to the words. So I'm just gonna be I'm gonna be using one, two, three, four, five, six. And if you, uh, like I said, were eligible for the airdrop, your song Songbird would be showing up there. If you did not, if you weren't eligible for the airdrop, then it would be looking like this. And right, so now you can just click on the arrow up here and click on receive. So now you're able to receive XRP, Songbird, Ethereum, or any other ERC20 token. So you can see here lots of different tokens, so you can also re receive those. Uh, in this case, I'm going to be receiving some Songbird. So we'll be, so if you want to, uh, well, deposit Songbird now, um, you can just, spe so now now you go to, uh, in this case, it's currently just trading on Bitru. So you go to Bitru and enter this address in the withdrawal address. So I already have some Songbird, so I'm going to go to MetaMask and I'm going to be sending, click on send and just uh, paste this address here. I'm going to be sending, well, free Songbird. So I'm going to go to next and sign the transaction. And now free songbird are going to be deposited on this account and they're already there. So now you can also, for example, wrap the songbird in this case. So this is a feature uh, um, of the well songbird network. So it's a smart contract in this case where you can wrap your songbird and after wrapping them, you can also delegate your votes. So after I have wrapped this uh, wrapped songbird, I now have another token showing up here, which is called Wrapped Songbird, and I can delegate that. 
for a, a, uh, I'm just quoting a graphic a graphic I saw by Status, uh, which was that for each 100 songbird you delegate, you get about 0 0.5 to 2.8 songbird every week. There's a login period, you can look all of that up, so, but you can just click on delegate and now you can define who you want to delegate. So if you click on add delegation, you can define who you add. They're also, uh, oh, okay, it's gone already. You can def define where you want to delegate it to. For example, I can delegate 100 of my voting power, 100% of the voting power to the Bifrost Oracle. So after doing that, I can sign it again. And now I'm delegating one songbird to the Bifrost Oracle. And I will get rewards on a weekly basis. I think there's a lock-in period and every Saturday it's locked in. And then after a week you can click on claim rewards. So you have time to claim your rewards for, I uh, think, about six months. So you can get your rewards. Ah, they even added a timer there. So you can see here the next epoch, which is going to be starting on Saturday. So in one day and 14 hours. And when the date is done, uh, it's locked in. And then you have to wait an entire week. And then you can claim your rewards again. And like I said, you can even wait longer than a week. You can, for example, claim your rewards every month or every two months, but at most six month, uh, months. Otherwise, your rewards will be invalidated. Right. Anything else there to mention? Uh, that's it. So after you don't want to uh, delegate your songbird anymore, you can also just unwrap it again and get your songbird back. So I'm now right now unwrapping it. Also, don't wrap all your songbirds because then uh, you it won't be possible because you always have to pay a little gas fee with Songbird. So don't wrap all your Songbird, wrap most of it if you want to delegate. And that's how it works. Also, it has an integrated XOP wallet, so you can just click on XOP. Also copy the, that address and then you can also uh, use it as another XOP wallet. So I, I would personally not use that, so it's okay to use it, but it has obviously limited functionality. I personally love using the SUM wallet because it also offers support for adding um, tokens for, uh, so it, it just ha has advanced functionality. It also has X apps and so on. So I would personally be using as my phone, uh, XOP wallet would be using the SUM app, for the Songbird network and for the Flare network, and also in the future with the F assets, it would be using the Bifrost wallet. So yeah, that's how all of it works. So I hope I was able to explain all of it properly. You can also see here, if you ever forgot the recovery phrase, you can just click on it again and, uh, and just look at it and copy it again and write it down. Um, right, so with that, with these 12 words, you can just import it into any other phone if you need it. And that's how all of it works for now. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you know, now know how you can, like I said, create a wallet, send Songbird to it, delegate Songbird, so wrap it, delegate it, and also unwrap it again. All right, so that's it for this video. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.